I'm trying to figure out a way to say it because I don't want to cause any, you know, mm-hmm. disrupt the channel. But I'm just going to put this out there. Um, going forward, if one has has taken the, um, I'm going to say the F shot, the seasonal F shot, you know, I, you know what that is. And it starts with a F and ends with a U. If you've taken that, I, I really have a strong had a strong download, Grand Sheik, that going forward, yeah. they're going to put the other thing in the that. Demon serum. Well, the demon serum. Well, what I'm what I'm saying is for those to get those who were that reluctant is, to take the hokey pokey. That is one of the it's marks gonna of be the beast. Put, it's gonna be put in the flu shot. That is so, one of the I'm marks of the beast. Oh. I don't get flu If you shots. notice that, like when people look at the Septuaginta or the Bible and it says people would not be allowed to buy or sell without the mark, without the mark mm-hmm. or the number, number of the beast. Mm-hmm. You ever notice that they put a number on their to patent it? Yes. And it marks people. Did you notice that? Around the world, where every institution that was prior to these operations, uh, with many people who by the year gave blood to certain organizations, you notice that they're facing out all people and not accepting anyone mm-hmm. who took the demon serum and not accepting their plasma. They are now incubators. Mm-hmm. Consider that and consider why that if they're doing that and there are many from that same order that something's wrong and not good. Bernard Taylor's given a lot of, of, of uses for dandelion. He's got um, take the dandelion heads and fry it in tempura batter. Delicious. And he's got, I think, make it a jelly and a couple of other things with it. Uh, apparently, uh, d- mm-hmm. dandelion jelly, wine, and medicine, etc. I mean, what, what they need to do kidneys. look out. Look, normally, if you look right outside of where you where you domicile, you're going to see whatever so-called weed that is very healthy for you. And it's not a weed, but they're gonna, they're called a weed. That's just to give it a negative. Because remember, anything that helps, they give a negative. A weed is not negative. Someone but say, they will always give a negative because remember, they not only don't want humanity to think for themselves, they also want to disconnect you from nature. And one of their operations, dedicatedly, is to counter nature. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Don't get mad, get wise. Hey, Taj and Dr. G, do you guys know or hear about our new currency, Lumi? Lumi. I, I don't know. Let's keep this in mind. <laughs> you, know, you can, uh, you can uh, give us notes and share, but keep in mind currency is not money. Just keep that in mind. Yep, let me throw up my silver, y'all. Because now is it's not money. <laughs> currency is not money. Never confuse the two. And until you get back to the money, you have no honor trade. And all systems that are absent of the gold, silver, and copper, i.e., in harmony with the cosmos, are not going to work anyway. Although they'll be interjected temporarily to pacify people until you get back to truth. What did Bitcoin do? Go all the way up to what, what close to 70 and drop down to 30 some maybe? It's no, they just again. robbed the people, Yeah, which we were telling them before. They just robbed them again. I made 11, uh, like 11 notes per and ounce then, profit on my silver because all the stuff I bought at 23 is now 35. So, you know, Get you some gold and some silver. Some silver you can afford. Meanwhile, while you're at it, in relation to their obligations of operation at the Maghrib, under constitutional principle, 
read Article 1, Section 10 of the Constitution for the United States, and then see if it says Bitcoin. What's it say? <laughs> see if it says Bitcoin. You can you can start your own bank with some silver if you have. Of you, course, yeah. they don't want you to go there, do but they? you can. Oh, but uh, listen. Oh, I will say this: the I updated the flash drive, and I'm I'm, I'm sorry for anybody that got their flash drive before well, the twelfth, before the twelfth. But it's been updated again, and there is a lot of information. I want to thank Brother Yarad for um, updating his folder with a lot of valuable information. A yeah. lot. So I put about 15, 12 or 15 more documents on there. And there's a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, and I also put the the trust stock on there. <laughs> yeah, I might I might suggest to you as, you, as I'm thinking about it, is, is that because as things unfold, it might just be better so that it, it doesn't create a problem for people that you just simply make another flash drive and build on it so that it doesn't conflict. Well, I've updated. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Well, the, the the current flash flash drive now has more documents on it. I did. Yeah. I just did it because I just got the information. I mean, that's good. But I'm yeah. just saying to you. I'm probably getting goes, to the end of the 16th because it's yeah. it's got over it's got yeah. close to going towards yeah. 800 and, documents. And that way, in that way, um, because we don't want to create obsolescence in in the cycle in the cycle of learning. Oh, so just, you're like, you know, see, just like if uh, every time I get new information, I make a new flash drive. No, not like that. No, oh, I don't okay. mean it that way. I mean, make a new flash drive and all new information. You keep building on that, whereas that one will stay solid, sound, and it it, it will be its legacy. See right there under the under the under that arc. That's yeah. that's the master with everything. Oh, all right. Right. <laughs> that's it. I've done you know, that, and that's and that's so that people won't feel you know that they gotta that they gotta buy the no. old information over again to get the new information. Well, no different than, you know, like new, uh, 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 like say we're going to do uh, the musings mm -hmm. again so that you don't do the first edition over again, but in addition, do a second edition or a new book and then build up of that. And because that takes its own life, right. that has its own life. Um, well, that one right there has everything. Yeah, great, great. Okay. And um, but and we just want to, you know, I, so when I, I and I'm appreciative of the yeah. ones who, like I said, who give us information to include. Yes. So, what I've been doing is creating folders for each whoever it came from and creating a folder to put yes. that out there, with their accreditation, with well, you know, accreditation. and um, and that's then we have one that's actually the house of real waking the minds that I've and, compiled, yeah. but but I, I'm appreciative and for that's the, appreciative for, for those of you who. Are taking the responsibility to help in the great missionary work of helping to uplift fallen humanity, you know. Um, and I'm appreciative of you, you know, for uh, well, it started with patient. just one folder, yeah. which was yours, <laughs> yeah. But I'm, you know, I'm, I'm appreciative of you making the many sacrifices that many don't know that I'm aware of to keep things going for the helping humanity, you know, because you know, I see a lot of the struggles that they don't see. You know, uh, and it it doesn't go without notice. I just want you to know. Well, thank you. You 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 got you you all don't know how how it is when I'm trying to get Grand Sheik up to the office to go on camera, and he's still downstairs, either talking to somebody or putting the last minute touches on something. And I'm <laughs> going, we got seven minutes before we go yeah. live. I need you up here on camera, but it's like I'm directed. Uh, mm -hmm. But thank you. Well, that's part of the, the stressful work you do too. <laughs> Like, Trying to get Todd, you gotta act right. Six minutes. <laughs> Trying to get Todd, you gotta act right. Absolutely. Todd, you guy. Come on, Todd, you guy. Yeah. Um. Uh, someone says, "Do you get paid in gold, gold, or or silver? Something you can hold." Caution. Bitcoin. Remember. Yeah. What? Well, what? Well, yeah. Our nothing is paid in what you call the commercial trade. In, in truth, without gold or silver coin. The compensations that are made in other forms that represents people's gifts or labor is highly appreciated because it's more the love and the intent. And so there, you would call it compensation. And we get compensated in many forms, including the fact that people are growing 
and help them. Even that is confidence. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, when I put up here about silver with Quicksilver, you get physical silver. So, <laughs> without, remember, this without is a, a doubt, this is your old, this it's is not your in your hand. Ancient and modern rule and honor and contract. It's not in your hand, you don't have it. That's right. You don't have it. Put this up for uh, some people asking about the uh, flash drive. And remember what I told you before, make sure it's very clear. But okay. you might yeah. make a full home. Let me say this. Okay, because, to to those of you um yeah. who are purchasing the flash drive, this is this is where we we fall we have some things fall through the cracks. I prefer that you purchase it on PayPal because then you have a record and your we have your you know your address. And as soon as I make the the, the envelope to ship it out, you got a tracking number and everything. If you purchase it via Cash App, you must follow the instructions to send me either. If you can't put under four, if you don't put, can't put your whole uh, appellation. appellation and and address and location, and location on there, Kara, you gotta send me a text because I don't know who to send it to, and I I don't know how many times Make people. Sure you do a text. Some of you, you gotta. It tells you text me at that number that's in the in the where I'll give you. Text me and give me a screenshot and then give me where to send it to and who to send it to. Some of you don't do that. And then you wonder why you don't get your flash drive because I, I don't know who dollar sign, you know, it's me is. I, I need to know where it's me lives or domiciles and, you know, what you want to be called on the envelope. So those who do it via Cash App and don't provide some, some actually get the address, put the, the, the location in there on the four line. They're, they're able to type it, but others just please don't forget that. Yeah, that's important, and that's probably why some of you, you know, may may not have gotten your flash drive. So you know, I need you to be sure cognizant of that and cognizant that you do that, and that's important because like, where else am I? Don't know where to send it, and I want to get this information out to everyone who who's requesting it. There's the uh, address again, or the I mean, yes. the phone number rather as quickly and as unobstructively as possible knowing already that you have opposition <laughs> all due respect man please stop cutting the brother off it is distracting we want to hear the truth everything thank you well this is how we operate whoever you are you must be new <laughs> with all due respect um let's continue but anyway, let me see if there. So again, uh, I want to thank you all for sharing with us. We still got to keep yeah, I know. Yeah. I want to uh, thank you all for sharing with us. To keep in mind the trinity of the cranial brain, the heart brain, and the stomach slash gut brain is the activation of the superliminal mind. And keep in mind the word God coming from old high German uh, is really dealing with the, the capacity or the operative capacity of the superliminal mind coming from gut. This is why uh, an old high German coming down to old English, the word God has its origin in old high German, uh, which comes from gut, G-U-T-T. -T. And then that transfers to good, and then they remove one up, one ought, one o, and that becomes God. That's the fact of the etymological morphing of the word God coming from gut. So the gut activation brain reattaching with the cranial brain and the brain of the heart connected in that trinity is actually your defense mechanism and the capacity in nature for you to make true balance knowing discernment thus it is also an immunity and uh what we call defense mechanism and this is also why um all, in order to even dumb people down that they attack people through contaminations of food to dis disengage the gut brain that's the truth 
So please support the House of Reawakening Minds via PayPal, Cash App, or text and money orders payable to the House of Reawakening Minds and sent to 602 Vandiver Avenue, Wilmington, Delaware Republic, Zip Exec 19801. 801. 802. Everybody that. Super liminal. <laughs> but anyway, I uh, want to thank you all for sharing with us. Trust and hopefully, you know, that we've done some good. And if there's uh, any other questions, Dr. Ayala, that I'm we looking. might address. I'm looking. I'm trying not to say anything because they said I talked too much. Please. You know how we roll. Well, that's what I said. Our communication is based on <laughs> our first I know, but uh, they want to hear you. and uh, okay. so They're not aware of the conversations we're having before and while we're doing classes. Let me see what we got. Let's see. Oh, peace on the big world. Please. please. Okay, have it for life. Please speak on the and it has in parentheses said world world fairs in the early 18th century Chicago and Buffalo ETC. Oh, with the takeover of the trade routes, or what you call the old trade trading triangle? World fa like world fairs, like they had. Oh, that's why it's there. That's why they have there, because that was one of our main. Because remember, uh, metro metrologically, Chicago is known as Mecca of the West. And that was one of our major uh, trading ports, et cetera, when uh, we still had control of our trade routes here at the Maghreb. Uh, and so uh, pointedly, uh, even to this day, most of your uh, world trade, et cetera, although you have one of your largest ports at Long Beach, uh, Khalifa, or California, that um, uh, Chicago is one of your major trade routes there, Boston, Philadelphia, etc., uh, in the Trenton area. Uh, this is why you have uh, so much of the operations of the uh, conversion of the estates of the Moors taking place with uh, so called George Washington, so called crossing the Delaware to Trenton, etc. So, those are those are that ancient trade route. If that's what, what you're making reference to. And of course, uh, it's important from the Germanic tribes' position of the 1800s for them to have taken over those trade routes and understand this is why in, uh, around uh, from uh, 1854 to 1863, the later part or the, the second half of the 18th, uh, of 1800s, when uh, the last vestiges of the powers of the Moors at the Maghrib were manifest why so much was done, particularly around 1863 to 1868, for them to writing out more history from the school books, et cetera. Um, so the takeover, or you might call the, 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 the close to the last vestige of Moore's powers in the, mess, in, the, in, the, um, in the West, or what you call Egypt of the West, was successfully uh, executed by the Irish. And this has much to do, again, why uh, much of that information about the trade takeover is not taught in history book, and also the, what the reconstruction of uh, operations of uh, the takeover place at North America, and then uh, Iberia fell. Uh, so people need to know that we fell here actually at America first before Europe fell. Most people think it's in reverse. It isn't. We fell first here. If that's what you're making reference to. World fairs were those. The world fairs displaying yeah. Egypt of the West in your face, architecturally and far as the noble points are, because all of the important buildings were always placed at noble points energy points, which are also known as ley lines. Thanks. Those are deliberate placements. And it's also what you would call uh, open, 
kind of like open museums? That's what the fairs were. Oh, yeah. Kind of like, yeah. Or like showing uh, in many ways both uh, the conquest, symbols of conquest, and also exposures of back engineered technologies. All of those things included, and, and then done it done in a format of uh, of and for entertainment to also display it and also show and veil it at the same time. Didn't they have like a human zoos? Of course they did. 